Hello everyone, so this is an introduction video for my upcoming video series. I'm going to show you how we can create this uh, dashboard. And the name of the application is Crypto Analysis. And in this dashboard, we are going to have data related to cryptocurrencies. Okay. So what you see here uh, in this chart, this is the price evolution for Bitcoin. And we have data for the past five years. You can act actually see for one year, year to day, six months, three months, and one month, and then so on. We can as well have, for example, the the trend for the coin, see the confidence band, and also the forecast. And in here, we have the current price for the coin. And in this widget, we have the price for the last three months. What is unique here is we have three different line chart in the same widget. And this one is for April, this is for May, and this is for June. So you can immediately see how your coin is performing this month comparing to other months. And what do you have here is sort of comparison in between coins. We have a scorecard and coins listed from the highest price to the lowest price. So this is only for Bitcoin and uh, we can go here and then change. Uh, for example, I can put Dash and click on Apply. I'm going to have the price evolution for Dash, the, pr the current price for, for Dash, and then also the price for the last three months for that coin specifically. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go now see uh, where we can get the data. Okay. So I'm using Coin Ranking uh, API. So you can get the API documentation if you go to docs.coinranking.com. We are going to use mainly Gitcoin endpoint, this one in order to get the coin detail. And this one coin history, which is actually going to give us the data for the past five years. I mean the price. So you can actually have for one year if you want, 30 days, seven days and 24 hours. Okay, so let's go here now and um, what we are going to do is basically from the moment you have in your mind that this is the application that you want to build okay this is the result that you want to have so what we have as a result four different widgets and each one of them is a different visualization uh, for the price so that's what we have here so how we can get this result okay that's what we are going to try to break it down right here so i'm going to show you three different slide and the first one is going to be, for example, we're going to talk about performance analytics and uh, data modeling. Then we will talk about data integration and data flow. And finally, we will talk about work workflow. This is something that I'm using. So we will have this one. We will talk about this one, about this one in the end. Okay. This is going to be much more in details how we are exactly going to implement our, uh, create our application. Okay. So the first one, here we have I put a column here this is the result column and you have all the widgets so price evolution current price price school code and then price for the last three months okay so what we know is that all these widgets they are using only one indicator that the price indicator so that's what I have in here okay price indicator and then if you have one indicator you need an indicator source and if you have an indicator source you need a table which is going to feed your indicator source right so in our case we are going to create a crypto table it's going to be our custom table where we are going to have data related to price time all sort of information that we need in order to have the price indicator and the indicator source and then if you notice that um we have a breakdown right we can select the coin that we want and then see the price evolution for that coin so if you want that option in your dashboard you need to have a breakdown okay if you have a breakdown you need to have a breakdown source if you have a breakdown source you need to fill your breakdown source with the table either you are going to feed the breakdown source with the existing table or you are going to create a new table so in our case we are going to create a new table okay that's going to be our core coin table so by analyzing performance analytics by defining from the beginning what are the different things that we need like such as indicator indicator source and breakdown we are able to actually conclude at this point like we need two tables okay for our application so we're gonna have crypto table and then core coin table okay so that's the 
that's the whole thing here that's a point of uh, uh, actually creating this uh, this kind of um, boxes here uh, creating relationship in, in between them okay so let's go and um, see what we have uh, here data integration data flow so we have our table we know these are the tables that we need call coin table and then crypto table so how we are going to put the data into our table that's the second question okay so <clears throat> in our case we are going to use flow designer in order to send the request and obviously we are going to use an endpoint resource path we're going to have some inputs we're going to use a retry policy and then we're going to get an output which is going to be our response body then we are going to parse our response body in order to get some action outputs that's the entire thing that we do in flow designer okay and the second part we create a data source okay it's going to be type load by script we're going to use the code snippet that we have from that we get from flow designer so in order to call our flow designer and also i have some other code in order to insert data into our staging table so the result here uh, by creating a data source and loading data it is uh, actually going to create a staging table and also an import set with data okay so then is the question how we are going to uh, take the data from the staging table and put it in our target table okay we have two target tables core coin table and then crypto table so that's where we create a transfer map and we inform we need a source table we need uh, i mean we, may, we we need a target table and then business rule what is order we're going to map the fields in between source table and target table and transform map scripts um, we're going to write it if you need if needed so in the end what we are going to have is the data into our target table we're going to run our transform map to load the data from so from the source table to our target table and finally we're going to do a schedule import okay so, which means we're going to automate the entire process like flow designer data source and transform map so it is optional and not for all things that we are going to do only for a few things okay uh, this step so now this is kind of general general model this is not something like <clears throat> that i'm going to use every time most probably yes but for you know to create the uh, dashboard but we may have some situation we are not following this one but this is something that i'm going to find uh, on the on the road so when along the road when i'm going to build multiple application multiple dashboards okay so now let's go uh, and see into much more details what exactly that we are going to create in our application okay that's what i have here this is kind of workflow that i'm using and um, i'm going to quickly uh, show everything that, that we have here okay so the first thing you're going to have one flow designer action i mean the first flow designer action we're going to have two rest requests in there i'm ignoring uh, some part here we don't have the part parsing the response and then so on so the next step is like uh, having a data source where we're going to have um uh, coin history and then coin details okay we're gonna load the data into our staging table we're gonna have all this data history and details and we're gonna have a transfer map coin details transfer map which is actually going to put only the coin details not the historical information just the coin details so and after that we're going to deactivate that transfer map okay let's say that's the first thing that we do then we use the same data source we load again we, re we reload again the same data uh, using the same data source um, our data into our staging table okay we have another input set and this time we're going to have a business rule another transfer map historical coin details transfer map and we will load the data into our crypto table okay i don't have the crypto okay okay then we deactivate uh, this transform map as well because once we have our historical data we don't need to use um this this part this entire process we know we don't need to use this transform map okay so at this point we have our coin detail we have our historical data and then what we need is um 
a process to get the daily data daily we want to update our table with the, the price of today for example okay so what we are going to do for that we are going to create another flow action uh, flow designer action we will have two requests there so we're going to have the coin details and also um, a request which is actually going to get today's data okay so we are going to use the same endpoint so if i go back here and then click on get coin history so i have this endpoint and we're going to use for example for this part here the endpoint where we are going to have a uh, five year as uh, the time frame okay but for this one it is not necessary to load such a big amount of data data for five years we just need for one day right for today so <clears throat> We have one year, 30 days, seven days, 24 hours, but I'm going to use seven days. And then I will be working on the scripting level in order to have just the data for today. Okay. So <clears throat> it is, uh, so we have that one done here. So the flow designer action, the two request, we load the data to get just uh, the data for today, for the day you're actually doing. So daily data. And then, uh, we have our staging table with the input set we use the same business rule we have another transform app and we put the data into the same table crypto table and this time we have to automate the entire process because we want to have this one every day we want to have the data every day so we're going to schedule import and it's going to repeat every day at a specific hour during the day okay so this is how we are going to exactly implement create our application this is the entire flow let's say okay so that's it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and have a good day bye